Доброй ночи, украинцы, украинки. Ukrainians, all our defenders, the 180th day of our defense and a new week begin. The week we look forward to every year, as it is the time of our main holiday, the holiday of Ukraine, Independence Day. And this week the occupiers definitely did not expect to be such. They could not have imagined that even now, after six months of such a brutal war, we will celebrate our independence on our land and in our capital. But it is so. This is our land. This is our independence, which no one can break and no one can take away. And you know it is so. Everyone in Ukraine feels it. 180 days, almost six months. The absolute majority of our people have no doubt that we will achieve the victory of Ukraine. We are united. We are more confident now than we have been in many decades. And this is one of the foundations of our strength, our power. And therefore, it is one of the main targets for Russian terrorists. They strike at the feelings of Ukrainians, at the wounds in the souls of our people, just as at our cities. They strike cruelly, cynically, but with the different weapons. And not only with propaganda, not only with lies, tormenting people, all those who suffer the biggest pain, the greatest difficulties, is one of the terrible means of pressure which has become commonplace for Russia. And now there are enough reports in the media that in Mariupol the scenery is being prepared for an absolutely disgusting and absurd show trial of Ukrainian defenders, of our warriors who are captives of the occupiers. No matter what the occupiers are thinking, no matter what they are planning, the reaction of our state will be absolutely clear. If these despicable show trials take place, if our people are brought in the scenery in violation of all agreements, all international rules, if there is abuse, this will be the line beyond which any negotiations are impossible. Russia will cut itself off from the negotiations. There will be more conversations. Our state has said everything. All partners of Ukraine have been informed about what the terrorist state can prepare for this week. On August 21st I spoke with President Macron about all the threats. President of Turkey Erdogan is also informed about all this. The Secretary General of the United Nations, I am sure, will also react. They and other world leaders received appropriate signals from us. Everyone understands everything. They understand what the occupiers are doing and what it threatens. And they understand that Ukraine will not tolerate this. It will not tolerate tormenting of people, about whom only one thing can be said. They are heroes of our homeland. They defended the freedom of their people from invaders on their land. Even in times of war there must be rules. The power of the world is definitely enough to bring an estate any terrorist under the power of these rules. Well, all of us, all Ukrainians must remember one thing. No matter what, our goal is victory. No matter what, we are hidden towards victory in spite of everything. No matter what, glory to all our warriors. Ukraine is above everything. Glory to Ukraine.